Hi, my name's Chris Trace and I'm going to show you how to use Xerti to create interactive learning objects. The example I'm showing you here is using Xerti Online Toolkits. There's also the possibility to download Xerti to your own PC and use it offline. So if you're using Xerti Online Toolkits, you'll, the website is www.nottingham.ac.uk slash toolkits and when you log in with your Nottingham username and your password. When we get into the website you'll find you have your workspace on the left hand side here. This is the space where you're able to organize all your learning objects and we can organize them into different folders by clicking on new folder I can create a folder so in this example I'll call it test. This enables you to organize your work so that you can find it easily. If we wanted to create a new learning object what we do is move over to the right hand side and here you can see Xerti Online Toolkit which is a flexible template for creating interactive learning objects. So I'm going to click on create and then put in a suitable name. So let's say example and then create a project. Once I've clicked that you'll note that we get example pop up in our workspace. I'm now able to edit and preview this but at the moment um, you'll notice that we've got some tabs appeared along the top. The first one that I'll, I'll briefly show you is properties. So once I go in here this enables you to control different aspects of that case without actually editing the content itself. So on the project tab on the left you're able to change the name of the project by changing that here. If I go down to shared settings you're able to add in collaborators. So for example I can add Liz Mossop as an editor. The second tab along that we can now access is the edit tab. This is the button that you'll need to click to actually change any material within that learning object. If you'd like to then just view your learning object at a later date you can click preview you can also delete your object or duplicate your object. So for now I'm just going to edit my object. So I'm going to click on my learning object, ensuring it's highlighted, then click on to edit. As once you've done that you'll appear in this screen. So here we have a space on the left hand side of the screen which will show you the number of slides you've done and in which order. On the right hand side of your screen you've got the working space which is where you're able to change the details within each slide. There's several different types of slide we can add in and they're, they're split into broad categories to make it easy for you to find. So to add a slide I'm going to go to insert in the top left corner and you'll see that there's various types. So here we have text slides you can see you then get some more options come off to the right hand side. Within text you'll note we've got a title page and if you see below the image now we've got a preview of what the slide would look like. So this gives you a, a standard template for creating a title page. We also have a bullet point set up, an orientation slide which has various headings already set up, plain text and a summary slide. The other broad categories within here is media, so we're able to insert images, videos, drawings, audio and also online content. We can add in navigators to enable you to uh, move through different types of content. We can add in a basic chart, we can add in interactivity and again these show you the different options you have. So within interactivity we have multiple choice questions, we have interactive diagrams, we have hotspots, we have quizzes. This is where all the stuff, um, the good stuff is really if you want to test your users. We also have the miscellaneous tab which has a few random bits in there. In the next short screencast I'll then show you what these tabs do, the different slides and what we can do with them.